Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Ores Hero. If you're new to the channel, welcome to this channel. Um, before I even get into the reading, um, <laughs> if you would like to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, you can follow me on there at Pink Ores Hero. Um, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is just submit your info to my website. The link is in the description box below. Um, I know sometimes the link doesn't work, but it does. I don't know why. Um, I guess it depends on what type of browser you're using, but it does work. If it doesn't work for you, you could just email me. Um, that's listed in the description box below. Also, too, when you're submitting your info, um, make sure you're putting in the right email address. Because if you don't, I won't be able to respond back. So if I don't respond back to your submission, um, just try again. And if it doesn't work, just email me or message me um, on Instagram or something. But yeah. Let's see. This is going to be for... Who is this for? Gemini. Okay. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what comes up for Gemini. For September 2020, what messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For September 2020... What messages do you have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see. What's this? Okay, we got it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah. Okay, and then we got release your ex at the bottom of the deck. So... For some of you guys, you could feel like it's not safe for you to love right now here. Or it's like there's a need for you to open your heart here so that you can like accept love into your life. The message is here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2020. What message is here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For September 2020. Okay, we got free or so. And then we got pay attention to red flags. Hmm. So we got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So yeah, I feel like um you could be I feel like somebody needs to free themselves from like fear. That's what I'm getting so far. Give me one more. Cause it's like you're you're stuck here. Um, this could be about a person. Give me one more for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September twenty twenty. Give me one more. What's this? Yeah, so release your ex. Oh, and guess what's at the bottom of the deck? So we got release your ex. I don't know why this isn't focusing. So yeah, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy here. Oh, I feel like, because um, the way it's showing up for me, somebody's needed to like, um, <laughs> someone's needed to get away from an ex, right? Or it's like you, you could have possibly released an ex here and you could be single but it's like you're stuck in between going back to your ex it's like you could be the type of person who like goes you know it's like an on and off type of thing I don't know and it's like you're stuck in that energy because it's like you um with this free yourself the unicorn or whatever this is a horse they're stuck in a um a fence, but it's like a circle, a cycle. And it's like you're stuck in this cycle here. And it's like, you know, maybe um you're thinking about reconciling here with the ex. But it's like, I feel like you need, need to free yourself from that here. And I, yeah, I feel like somebody needs to... um to forgive and learn here too like release and heal the past so that you can have new love 
So let's see. Clarify it is safe for you to love. Clarify is safe for you to love. Yeah, we got the full card here. Follow your um somebody could be dealing with a water sign. Could be a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. But follow your gut feeling here. Follow your intuition. And I feel like it's about the X. Cause I feel like the X has some um red flags. Cause I've seen it pay attention to the red flags card as well. So yeah. I feel like with um, this new love or like a new beginning in love, it could feel like a risk. But I feel like you're needing to take a risk here, um, Gemini. Or this could be the other person that you're dealing with. This could be somebody that you're interested in. There needs, like someone's needing to take a risk here. But a part of that is like releasing an ex. Like just um, move on. Clarify it is safe for you to love. Yeah, if there's like conflict here. About taking a, a leap of faith here too. It's like you're unsure. Or maybe you feel like it's not safe. But it's saying like it is safe for you to love. And I feel like it's new beginning too. It's almost like justice here. Because they could have dealt with some. Some things with their ex here in the past. That they're needing to like forgive and just learn from. Clarify for yourself. Clarify for yourself. Yeah, we got the Emperor. Um, somebody could be done with the Aries here, but I feel like this is definitely telling you to take charge, Gemini. It's like it's time for you to free yourself. Like get into that Emperor energy here. And um, take your power back too from this ex. I feel like it's going to take a lot of strength too. But also too, it's like be confident in um, this decision here to take a leap of faith like towards a new beginning. It's like there's really no need to have um, internal conflict here. Also too... Um, it's like your energy too, because with this five of wands, it's like this is like um like a low vibration here. With this five of wands, it's like you you're needing to clear your energy here, um, raise your vibration here. Clarify, release your ex. Yeah, the five of, yeah, I feel like, see, I said that before in the, um, well, the beginning of the reading, I feel like somebody's, like, back and forth here with an ex, and I feel like it's because you're, com like, you could be comfortable with this person, or you, like, knew, you probably could have known your ex for a long time, like, you guys have a past together, and it's almost like that's all you know, but no, like, you have something new here with the full card. There is a mental conflict here with the Five of Swords. But I feel like you're needing to surrender here too. Well, no. You know what, too? Also, I'm seeing it too where someone's ex, like, there could be um, manipulation here. Because the way I'm seeing it, it's like, um, because it's like you're showing up as the unicorn, Gemini. This is how I'm seeing it. You're showing up as the unicorn with this free yourself card. And it's like the ex of you trying to get away. And they could be saying some things here. It could be like um, mental. Like just putting stuff in your ear. It's like manipulation. Playing mind games. Because they see you trying to like move on. And it's like it has you going back and forth. And you could be. I feel like somebody's like questioning their worth too. Because, like, whatever it is with the ex, it's, like, not even, it's not of your highest good. Because I meant to um, mention, too, this Eight of Cups. Like, someone's needing to walk away.
like stop going back and forth and just um let go of an ex here. Clear and front, release your ex. Yeah, we got the um the King of Cups that came out. Somebody's ex could be a water sign, but it's like um There's like an emotional attachment here with an ex, but it's almost like maybe you've been with this person for a long time or it's like you really care about them, but they got, it's like some red flags about this person or there's always some type of conflict. So it's like, it could be a lot of like petty arguments. It's like, you're just not at peace with this person. But I'm seeing a lot of manipulation here. And it's like you need to let that go. Somebody's like holding on here. So let's see. I was about to put the cards down. What's the um, five of wands here? Yeah, it's conflict here about new love. Like someone's like very worried. But it's saying like take take the risk, Gemini. So let's see what's this five of swords it's like somebody has a new beginning in love right here and it's like they're scared but it's like it, it's risky but I feel like you're needing to take a leap of faith like have faith um in this right here. What's the uh, five of swords? What's the five of swords? Yeah, well, it's about walking away. There's mental conflict here about walking away. But I feel like somebody's person, whoever the ex is, that they're needing to release, they could be saying some things here to somebody here. Maybe it's like they're playing mind games, especially with this Five of Swords being here. Like they could be saying little slick stuff like, oh, like maybe you'll never find anybody like me or I don't know, just saying that like you won't be happy, like just saying little things here to kind of make you like question yourself about walking away but trust it like let your intuition guide you too i said that in the beginning of the reading um or just follow like your gut feelings here okay i'm gonna pull some oracle cards Give me one for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this spread. Yeah, wow, Gemini. We got Unseen Blessing. See, this new beginning in love here, this Ace of Cups with the full card, I feel like that's the Unseen Blessing. Like, you're not seeing it. Like, I really feel like somebody needs to, like, kick their ex to the curb, like, seriously. Let's see. Yeah, and we got self-reliance here, too. Someone could have um, either Taurus or Virgo in their chart. Or it's like you could be done with the Taurus. But we got the self-reliance. Like, trust yourself here, Gemini, about freeing yourself and releasing an ex. Trust, and most importantly, trust your intuition. Give me one more for um, Gemini. Yeah, we got serendipity here. You could be seeing like signs and synchronicities. It's like the universe is trying to show you that you, you're needing to free yourself and release the ex here. Because it's like you got something new waiting for you. And it's like you're leaving the ex behind for sure. So let's see. 
I'm going to pull some Oracle cards from this Kipper deck right here. So let's clarify it is safe for you to love. Clarify it is safe for you to love. Yeah, so we got a gift. This new love here is a gift. It's like the universe is trying to offer you something new here, Gemini. Clarify for yourself. Yeah, ex expectation and despair. Ooh. Okay, we got expectation right here. So I do feel like you could have possibly freed yourself from an ex, right? And you could be expecting new love to come in. But I feel like too, it's like fear and mental conflict in a way. Or in, um, also too, like internal conflict. It's like you could just be unsure because you don't really see. Because like there's an unseen blessing here and it's new beginning and love here. Um, And also too, I feel like it's like emotional fulfillment too. Most definitely. Um, but also too, I feel like with this expectation, it's like someone's waiting around. And it's like you're needing to free yourself from that. Because it's like you could, I feel like um, with this expectation, it's like the woman here, it's like she's still thinking about the ex. But it's like take back control of your life here. You can't just be like sitting around, waiting around. Clarify, release your ex. Clarify, release your ex. Clarify, release your ex. Ooh. Wow, we got um, adjudication that came out. So I do feel like um, somebody could have been married here to an ex. Or it's like maybe there was like some type of court situation. But I feel like this is a decision here that someone's needing to make. But it's like causing a lot of mental conflict. And I feel like the ex could be involved with you making a decision here. Causing a lot of mental conflict. And look, false person. See, someone's like being very um, manipulative here. And I feel like it's emotional and mental here too. So, I'm going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully, it re um, resonated with someone. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.